Today is a travel day here in the province of Trang in southern Thailand. Right now we're in Koh Mook, one of the most incredible, beautiful paradise islands I've ever seen and ever experienced. And all we want to do is get over there. That's the mainland. This is the island. That's the mainland. It's a 15 minute ferry. Not complicated, right? But there is me, there is my motorbike, and I have an idea. I have a bespoke travel plan of getting me and the bike to the mainland. I'll explain more after this. My name is Paddy Doyle and this is my little Honda dream and welcome to Next Level Adventures. Right now we are attempting to visit every single province in Thailand. We've had some incredible adventures already but the best part is we're only just getting started. So subscribe and join us as we discover this incredible country together. You see, this island is really easy to get to. You can take a private long tail or you can take a public ferry. And we took the ferry a couple of days ago here with my bike and it only cost 110 baht. And it's the same going back. It's as simple as coming here as it is going back to the mainland. However, this province of Trang is famous for two things, okay? Beautiful incredibly tropical islands just like Komuk as well as a bunch of others and dugons live here wild dugons and they're thriving thanks to the lull in public you know tourism and international tourism they are flourishing here there is a bunch of seagrass they feed on they're big cute white elephant looking mammals that live in the sea they're similar to matinees Matinee, Mantanese, Manton, Mat, Matanese, Mantanese. So my genius idea was, I spoke to a long tail boat driver uh, last night and I said to him, hey listen, can I put my bike on the ferry and can me and you go to one of the beautiful tropical islands, can we go try and see and look for the dugons? And he said, yep, yeah, sure, no worries, get your bike on the ferry, I'll take you around, I'll take you to a beautiful island, I'll give you lunch and we'll try and find the dugons. And then I'll drop you back at the ferry pier and you'll be reunited with your bike in the afternoon. <laughs> Don't drop it guys, oh my god! Okay, like a pro. My bike is going on the ferry to the mainland. Let's hope it doesn't arrive at the mainland looking like this. <laughs> oh my goodness, I literally think that that fell in the sea and they found it because it's completely rusted through. Okay, we're on the long tail. I'll introduce you to the driver and the guy who's running the tour later. He's lovely, he's called Mr. Yong. When I asked him how much, you know, would be a good price, remember, it's just me, he quoted me 1,800 baht, which is about two or three hours looking for the dugons, and then a bit of a mission to get to Koh Kradang, and I actually thought that that was a ridiculously good price. You know, all day on a long tail, he's got to buy all the gasoline, and he's gonna spend the whole day with me and I just thought, hey, you know what, let's call it 2,000 baht and can you give me lunch? So his wife's cooked me fried rice and uh, there's a half a watermelon there and there's some water on board. Because yeah, like, you know, I am a budget traveler. I just thought 2,000 was a fair price to be fair. And if you were traveling with two or three other people, you split that price, that's only 500 each. So you're talking $15 if you're with a group or $60 if you wanna do it by yourself like me. If you look on Google Maps at Go Kradang and you zoom in on satellite mode, it looks too good to be true. Like the water looks too good to be true. So I want to go see if it really is too good to be true. But first, we're going to go see the Dugons. Bye bye, Komuk. You were beautiful. Absolutely stunning. But now it's time to go somewhere else. <laughs> So Mr. Young just said, before we go look for them in the national park, he says sometimes they actually just come right up to Komuk. I mean, look, we're looking for them right here, alongside the resort I was just at. Which means if sometimes they're here, if you're staying in Komuk, just come for a snorkel. 
He says they are wherever the seagrass is because they only eat seagrass. And you can see it down there. Look, there's a piece. And uh, can you imagine if they were just there the whole time? I didn't need to go on a boat trip. I could have just gone snorkeling and swam with dugons. By the way, we're not going to go swim with them. You're not allowed to. Here, dugon, dugon, dugon. Here, boy. I'm whispering but 10 minutes later we're in between Komuk and the mainland and there's something a rumbling there's something making a splash we've already we've already seen a giant sea turtle oh, big, one. big turtle oh yeah big turtle oh my god so these animals are incredibly well looked after and they're endangered obviously so there's none of this chase them jump in and feed them and swim with them and annoy them we're just hanging out and hoping that we see one feeding on the seagrass and this is mr young mr young say hello hello <laughs> he was just telling me that um there are seven different types of seagrass that they feed on in this area and over there is an island called koli bong and that that is where they nest every year and there's 200 300 currently living in this area and giant sea turtles. I'm sorry I haven't caught uh, the sea turtle on camera, but we've seen two massive sea turtles already. So it sounds like we're going somewhere else because we've been waiting here about 10 minutes looking. But he's got the engine on low, and then when we think we're near them, he turns the engine straight off, and then we're just, my job and his job is to look and see if we can find them. So can you guys help? Turtle. Can you see? Can you see him? Oh, oh he's so big. Oh, he's gone. They swim so fast. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, that's the third turtle. Huge one. But they swim so fast here, huh? Tao Mac. Leo Leo. Oh, oh, look, look, see cow, see cow, do go, do go, this one, this one, they come up, oh, so close. Oh, look, yes, look, 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 yes, look. I see. Oh, we just saw a dugon <laughs> right yeah, here. Yeah, lucky, lucky. Right here next to the boat. Yeah, look, 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 they come across. Where? Dow, 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 look. I don't see. Oh. This one, this one, cross. Jingla. Oh, <laughs> just see that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, there's a big one right here. <laughs> <gasps> wow, oh, he's so whoa, big. So big. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see. Oh. My friend, uh, he had idea. He said maybe buy some drone. I have a drone. And because it's shallow water and then Fly up. yeah you can I see have. where they are okay well and i have a drone we can go by boat follow them you want me to do this yeah we can okay. try because shallow water we can see yeah if okay okay there. i have a drone <laughs> mr young had a good idea yeah. it's working we've working? got the drone no but we've got the drone up and we can see turtles we can see let's i just seen three turtles just in front of the boat but <laughs> um yeah we're going to use the drone and keep looking for the dugons but yeah, good idea, Mr. Young. <laughs> Legend.
minutes later, after we've seen the dugons, we've come over here to Koh Kradang. Um, and if you're wondering, hey Paddy, why are you switched to the GoPro? Something terrible happened, let me explain. Right, so we were on our way to Koh Kradang on the, on the long tail and um, I put my camera on the bench in front of me on top of my little backpack and I started to put sun cream on and uh, we just hit a little wave like doo -doo -doo, like that and the camera just like fell off and uh, I mean it should have been tied down better it's 100% my fault uh, and the camera just fell down in front of me and hit the wooden floor of the boat now I didn't worry because my camera has a metal um, lens clap and that has saved my camera so many times and I've dropped it I'm talking I've dropped it 15 20 meters onto rocks okay uh, once my tripod broke as I was holding it on my shoulder the, the top snapped off and the camera fell with it and it hit rocks and it hit rocks and it hit rocks and it it I mean it should have broke then but it didn't even have a scratch on the lens and the camera worked absolutely perfectly and I pick up the camera and the lens is gone and the lens is completely snapped off and, the, and then I pick up the lens and I'm just like oh my god look at the state of this like the, the the connecting part has snapped completely there's torn cables bits of the um, glass like the yellow glass element is still stuck on there oh I can see the, 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 the o-ring, the metal o-ring of the lens is completely still attached to the main of the body, the main body of the camera. Yeah, actually I can, look, if I, ju I just press the release button and now, so this is the part of the lens. So this is now the broken part, which is a good thing because that means the camera body, you know, it took a hit, but the camera body should be absolutely fine, I think. It's just the lens. I'm hoping the lens is the only part that's broken. We, we are having trouble in paradise. It's only camera equipment. I haven't got hurt. No one got hurt. It's just a camera lens. It's money that I have to spend. But I just want to say that the people who are supporting this production, the Patreons and the channel members and uh, all the people who've been supporting me other than just watching the videos, you guys are literally going to fund the replacement of this lens because, uh, yeah, all of that money goes into a pot and then whenever I have a problem like that. I mean, it's so early in the trip as well. But yeah, so big shout out to the channel members, big shout out to the Patreons, um, the money that you guys have been supporting for the production. This is production cost. Look behind me, look behind me, there's literally, it's just me, one long tail boat and this Thai family. Somebody come. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. I've been to a lot of tropical islands in Thailand and I'm struggling to remember water being this clear and they're just the paradise vibes being this picture perfect postcard perfect Ko Kradang and there is accommodation here you can stay here but it's really expensive I could not find anything under two hundred dollars a night I mean maybe you'll have some luck but I, I mean the one place I saw that was 1,000 baht it was 1,000 baht for a really rubbish shed with a fan so oh -ho. Super beautiful. Oh, there's a fish. Eating the bread. And oh, my phone's in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> la, 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 oh la la. <laughs> this is our paradise, mate. Yeah. Oh. This, uh, you heard about this island they make like underwater wedding on Valentine's Day every year. Underwater wedding? Yeah, somebody said love island. Okay. They want to throw more sand about Trang Sea and then they make every year underwater wedding. Underwater wedding? Yep. Sounds weird. Okay, we're going to go back to the mainland and hopefully uh, 
eat some lunch on the way and try not to break any more cameras. Thanks, mate. I appreciate that. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Thank you so much. Great day. See you soon. Okay. I remember this ferry. We took this ferry on the way to Komuk. And look, they transport all the vegetables, cement, lots of juice, eggs, fresh veg, chilies, all the supplies for the island. And uh, let's see if we can find Dreamy. Cup and cap, man. Cup. Oh, oh man, no, 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 no. Oh, there she is. Cup and cap. Cup and Uh, excuse me. Sorry. Uh, this is my bike. Sorry. How am I going to get this out? And that is a travel day in Thailand. <laughs> See you in the next one. Get out.